Good afternoon, Mr. Masters. My name is Victoria, and this is my colleague, Laurel. We are the Team 7 Accountants, in which you have hired to provide you with consultation in regards to the two government tenders that you were contemplating bidding on. Prior to beginning, I'd like to first outline our agenda, which will begin with a brief introduction uh, for your current situation, followed by an in-depth analysis of the two government tenders, as well as our recommendation for the approach that you should take, and finally, an overall conclusion of our discussion. In order to gain a better understanding of your current situation, we conducted a SWOT analysis, which outlines the internal strengths and weaknesses of Creative Casual, as well as its external uh, weaknesses and threats. So I'm just going to outline a few primary ones I want you to keep in mind throughout the course of our presentation. In terms of strengths, Creative Casual has um, been producing high quality products, and this has been aided through its uh, um, local workforce. Also, uh, you have a short turnaround time when compared to competitors. In regards to weaknesses, uh, there are a couple weaknesses. For instance, uh, the factory's capacity is not being utilized to its full potential. You mentioned there are 100,000 units that you were able to produce, um, but you were only producing 10,000 units. Furthermore, uh, your reliance on short-term contracts is viewed as a weakness, as there is um, not all is reliability relating to these contracts. Also, there are several threats facing Creative Casual, the primary one being the economic, turn down, uh, economic downturn that has resulted in a 17.7% decline of Canadian exports. Also, there has been intensified competition of offshore companies as they have, uh, they're able to produce products at a lower cost. Despite these weaknesses and threats, there are many opportunities for Creative Casual. The first one being these government tenders you were contemplating bidding on, which um, as we know, the government is able to provide, uh, they have a lower default uh, payment default risk when compared to other sources of contracts at, during this economic downturn. And also, there's an opportunity to utilize the excess capacity to maximize production. So just to further touch on your current situation, uh, we're going to briefly discuss your gross, gross profit margin, which in 2008 was 28%, and in 2009 was 30%. Presently, the uh, current industry uh, average for gross profit margin uh, relating to clothing manufacturing companies is 40%. We view your lower uh, gross profit margin as beneficial as uh, you are able to um, have a competitive advantage while still reaping uh, excellent profits. So let's take a look at the two bids you're considering. The RCMP bid is for washable trousers and the police services bid is to provide cargo pants. Now the washable trousers bid is uh, eligible for Canadian companies only, which means you won't be competing with offshore competition who can provide lower costs, um, lower prices, sorry. Uh, this will, will result, however, in a high interest among Canadian companies, which you have mentioned, which means you will have to come in at a competitive price. Uh, this bid is desirable because it has a guaranteed quantity of 28450 trousers and also there's the option in the future that they will purchase four to nine thousand pairs in the next two years. Now the fabric to make these trousers must be purchased from the RCMP but because they give you a contract price we believe this to be beneficial as you'll know upfront your costs and uh, you don't need to worry about this changing in the future. Uh, for the police services bit, this is an open bit. You will be competing with offshore companies who have lower overhead costs and can slash prices. However, the government does take into consideration your high quality product and your ethics concerning labor force. So this will be beneficial to you even with the offshore competitors. Now the two year contract with the possibility of an extension of another two years is beneficial because it could bring in uh, reliable revenue. Unfortunately, there is no volume guarantee, so this is a variable that cannot be measured and we have to take into consideration when deciding how desirable this contract is. 
you did mention that the, taking on this contract would also increase your fixed costs. Um, the utilities of the factory would go up 20%. Now that is also an estimate and could change and this will need to be added to the costs of uh, providing these pants and it would also increase the price that you need to charge. The last point here is that delivery of the cargo pants will be on an as and when required basis compared to the one-time delivery of the trousers. These cargo pants will be delivered across the province to police departments and it could result in higher delivery costs and also inventory holding costs. So we've broken down the costs of the RCMP bid. You have your direct materials per unit, $5.10, direct labor, $4.49. These are variable expenses, totaling $9.59. Now this is based on our contract of 28,450 pairs. And you can see that our break-even price is also the $9.59. That is because once we pay cover our variable expenses with the selling price, Anything above that is profit. We don't include your manufacturing overhead in this amount because this contract is a one-time bid and it's in the short term, which means that your current contracts should be covering, well, we know they're covering, your fixed costs at the moment. And that doesn't seem likely to change. So if anything you charge over 959 is going to be profit. We recommend sticking with your um, current uh, profit margin of 30%, which would result in charging a price of $1,370 per pant and a total contract price of $389,000. Now when we're looking at the police bid, the direct materials and direct labor give us variable expenses of $988 a pair, but we also have to consider the manufacturing overhead. And this is the total manufacturing overhead, your fixed costs for production including the increase in utilities that this contract would, would incur. So with this amount, we have a break-even selling price of $12.52 per pair. Now, in order to maintain a similar 30% gross profit level, we would need to sell these pants for $17.89. In terms of recommendation, we will first discuss the RCMP trousers, which we strongly feel uh, you should proceed with. Uh, with the excess production, uh, production capacity that we noted in the SWOT analysis, the quantity of 20, roughly 28,000 can easily be obtained. As in terms of the bidding price, we have calculated a bidding price of $389,765. Um, this uh, incorporates the variable costs that we discuss as well as the 30% gross profit. Now when it comes to the police services bid, at this time we don't recommend you proceed until you can reliably measure all costs. Also we'd like to note that if you bid on one category, you must bid on all items in that category and you mentioned you weren't as comfortable working with some of the materials, so this is also something you need to take into consideration before you decide to make a bid. So just to conclude, because the ec economy is in a poor economic state, we do believe the government tenders to be a great way to increase revenues. However, um, while further analysis is needed on the police tender, you might have to come back to that. But we do, our short-term recommendation right now is proceed with the bid on the RCMP tender, and we believe it'll bring you profitable results. Thank you. Thank you.